Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be going over The Flash season 7 finale, which was just saying right now 10 out of freaking 10. It was the best episode this season, and I'm gonna say it, probably gonna regret it later, but it hands down was the best season finale we've had since season 2, and uh, maybe season 1. But definitely the best season finale we've had in a long time. This was one of the best episodes this show has, I think, ever had. Not just talking about the season, but this whole show. So I I'm really excited for this review. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for support. I'm recording this at 9.20 p.m. <laughs> you, probably, you guys probably won't be seeing it till 11 p.m. And I'll be staying up till it's out, so <laughs> hit the like button for my suffering, and hit the like button for me not getting enough sleep, because I feel like I'm about to fall asleep right now. Kind of-ish. I think I'm overly excited that the finale is done. <laughs> I'm overly excited the finale happened, I'm overly excited I'm doing this review, and I feel like I'm about to fall asleep with the second I quit being overly excited. So I'm gonna rush, I'm not gonna rush, but I'm gonna <laughs> get through this before I fall asleep. If you enjoyed the video, like I already said all that, thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of the video. Um, so the, uh, episode pretty much started off with Bart still being in a coma, Nora's worried about Bart not making up or anything and coming close to death, which he was, um, because they never really been through something like that, like, Bart's never come that close with Godspeed, um, or at least, I would assume, around Nora. I, I can't imagine Bart going up against Godspeed and not being as hurt as he was, but this definitely was one of Bart's lowest moments against Godspeed, at least around Nora. Um, then it went to two Godspeeds fighting atop of Joe's car, pretty much where it uh, ended off last episode. Um, there's nothing really going on there. I, I think it was this scene where we saw a bunch of people running back and forth, Joe trying to get people out of there, um, being the, I guess, well, he's not a cop anymore, but being the good person he is, he wanted to help people. Um, Barry and Hart are still in Hart's mind, uh, deep in Hart's mind, um, and Barry's asking Hart, why was he at the Flash Museum? What was he really doing? He didn't really answer any of that, um, which was fine, I, you know, he answered a little bit of it, but not really anything in regard to the Flash Museum, um, but Gospy mentioned this was their first time ever meeting, which, if you really think about it, if Barry's alive in the future, 2049 or whatever the hell it was, I think it was 2049, and Bart and Nora are talking about Barry, like, they would, like, when Nora and Bart time traveled to 2021, following Godspeed, and then stayed hidden for a moment of weeks, I went over that my son sent to a review, and rant, I guess, um, but my point is, they mentioned Barry would hate on them, or, you know, be mad at them for time traveling, but they would be mad if they didn't go. They mentioned Barry. I, I don't see how the hell Barry, of all people, if he was alive in the future, would just sit back and stand by and watch the Godspeeds do whatever the hell they were doing. Like, I he would have been like, what, 40? That's like 20 years from now? Yeah, he would have been 40 or something. I think he, Barry's in his 20s in the show. I think they said that a couple times. I mean, you can't tell me Barry's just hanging it all up and letting the Godspeeds ruin that ruin the city and not helping Bart and Nora in the future. I don't see that being a possibility. I, unless something happened to Barry in the future and he just didn't, he doesn't, maybe doesn't have a speed anymore. I don't know. But it, it's really just messed up that this is the first time, unless he's talking about this Barry... But it really did sound like this is the first time Godspeed's ever actually met Barry and gone up against Barry. Because it's always been Bart, or it's always been Nora, mainly Bart, obviously. Um, but anyways, Hart wanted to move faster than the speed of light, which, according to the show, isn't possible at all, even for Barry. So, <laughs> um, but he created the velocity formula. Now, some people were saying he didn't actually create it, it's just going, uh, Kate did. But I think what he was trying to say was he made it himself. He didn't go off of other people's science. He went off of his own and he made Velocity X or whatever the hell it was. Then, in the future, he made it himself. I think that's what the point of that line was. 
Um, but he mentioned that he couldn't move fast enough to break the light barrier. Um, and he wasn't fast enough to go fast enough to speed of light. Um, Godspeed, um, believes that Bart will be the one to turn him over to the side of the Godspeed War that wants to kill August Hart. Um, and we learned that, uh, Hart's actually upset that Bart was chosen the speed that he got. And that Hart wasn't chosen. And he was, he had to basically give it to himself. Like, he's upset that Bart was given powers of speed force and Hart wasn't. Um... And Gospy wants organic speed. He tells Barry that. And um, he mentioned that everything happening right now throughout the whole Godspeed war was Hart's plan all along. He planned on um, everything happening besides him losing his memory. Now, people were saying, oh, he's just, you know, tricking everyone. But he's not. He literally lost his memory. And it's deep in his mind where Barry and Hart are at right now. And that's where that came from. Um... Barry said he won't do Godspeed's bidding, aka giving him organic speed, so he can be faster than anything, even Barry. Um, and once Barry left the mind thing, which was after Godspeed's, you know, got all mad that Barry won't do his bidding, um, Hart didn't remember anything again. So it went right back to where they were, square one, with Hart not remembering who he really is. Um, Nora felt hopeless, and Barry, Iris, and Jay. Um, basically Nora wanted to give Godspeed organic speed to save Bart and everyone else. Um, Barry, Iris, and Jay, uh, talked to Nora about finding another way, which I think has been the key module for Team Flash for the past seven years, which is, I think it's good that they're teaching Nora that. Um, they didn't tell Hart who he really is, again. Um, they meant, they didn't really mention that he was a monster or anything, they just kind of kept him in the dark. We learned that when he was, uh, talking with Cecile. Um, he didn't mention anything that happened in the mine, which I think was good for Team Flash to do. Um, I mean, it didn't really help later on. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, Chester told Allegra he saved Barry, and it was good of her to stay with Team Flash to help her go through Ultraviolet's death. Um, which was true. She did save Barry in 716. Gospy very well could have killed Barry when he broke out the cell. Um, and, I mean, Allegra literally saved Barry, then. He, gosh, he very could have killed Barry. And he was about to. Um, then Barry brought back Speed Force Nora. Um, and Nora, Speed Force Nora, gave Bear, Iris, J, Iris, XS, all a speed boost, basically amplifying their speed, gave Iris her speed back, plus a speed boost. <laughs> um, and uh, it was also mentioned from Jay that Speed Force Nora looks like someone he knows, which would be Joanne Garrick. Obviously, the Barry and Iris, or well, mainly the Barry, it's his mom. To XS and uh, Bart, who met X Speed Force Nora before, which I thought was really cool to see. Um, obviously, them being there, I, on, I think they said. Um, or Speed Force Nanny, I think Bart called her. <laughs> um, but. The Speed Force managed to wake up Bart from the coma and then gave him a speed boost as well. So all these beasters, Barry, Iris, J, XS, um, and Bart, and I feel like I'm forgetting someone, are all speed boosted, like, to the limit. Like, they're, like, faster than pretty much anything right now. Um, and then Bart called J his uncle, which has never been name dropped until Bart and XS were talking in the uh, one episode in Joe's house, just Bart and XS. Um, so that drop there in front of Barry, Iris, and everyone else, is, I think it was, it was a good scene between Jay and Bart, um, and I'm glad they did it. Um, then it went to Kramer and Joe on the bridge. Guys, we about to kill Joe, and Kramer used speedster powers. You would think she's a speedster. <laughs> I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but that was cool to see. So Kramer is a metahuman. Um, but what power she has, we find out later in the episode. And it's not Speaster Powers, I'll tell you that right now. Um, Kramer saved Joe from Godspeed. It was a good scene. And then Kramer kind of passed out from using speed. Um, which she obviously wasn't used to, so. Um, Barry, Bart, Iris, XS, Speed Force, Nora, and Jay all fought the Godspeeds. 
It was a very, 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 very well, amazingly well done fight scene. I mean, not a single person was left, left out of this massive fight scene. Not a single person. Uh, we saw Bart throwing, like, lightning stars, lightning throwing stars. Um, we saw Nora use her lightning lasso. We saw Jay do something with his cap, like, throwing the cap, like, five Gospies just going... Like, back and forth between them, and then it flying back towards Jay. One of the best fights he's ever seen throughout the entire show. Hands down. Next to the final fights we're going to get into in a minute as well. Um, but overall, amazingly well done with that fight scene. I, amazing. <laughs> like, I was speechless during it. It was amazing. Um, the Godspeeds were draining the Speed Force and affecting Barry, Iris, and all the other speedsters that were there. Obviously, besides the Godspeeds themselves, but all of Team Flash and the Flash family were being affected because the Speed Force was being drained. And the Godspeeds didn't need to go to the Speed Force to... Sorry, I had to pause recording right there. Um, my point was, they didn't have to go to the Speed Force, like actual Speed Force, to drain more Speed Force energy. All they had to do was just draining from Nora, who was already there. So, again, good writing on that part. Um, now, I want to mention, Eric Walls wrote this episode. He wrote it. Eric Walls does an amazing job with every episode he writes. He's written, uh, I think, season 6 and 7 finales, um, which were all good. Season 6 finale could have been better. Uh, again, COVID screwed with everything up. Um, and I'm going to go into Season 6 finale in another video I'm doing later this week. Because Eric Wallace had said a lot of stuff regarding the End in the Mirror Monarch uh, storyline. And, um, which is very interesting to see him talking about uh, the way he did. Um, and stuff he'll want to do that he didn't get to do. I'm going to be doing another whole video on that because it was a pretty damn good interview. And I'm going to be talking about it. So go watch that video, it'll be out later this week. Um, I don't know why I said go watch this video like it's out now. It's not out now. I'll be out later this week. Anyways, um, uh, Allegra came in after the team, the Flash family was losing their speed slowly and slowly and used the device to neutralize the Godspeeds. It charged over 500% capacity, which is way more than, uh, Chester even predicted. Um, and it just pretty much, like, disoriented all the Godspeeds and they went away. And they were done for like not even a minute. And a whole bunch of other Godspeeds came in and showed up. And um, and then they went for Cisco and Frost. And it just went away. And then they did a two minute flashback scene. Um, with Cisco using the time thing on his gauntlets I used against the Godspeed before. On Cisco and Kate or Frost, whatever. Um... So that the Godspeeds couldn't get to them, and they were stuck in that time bubble. They couldn't move or anything, um, and the Godspeeds went away, and they were fine. Again, very good scene right there. Um, Jay, Bart, and Nora were speed building the device again because it got destroyed when Allegra used it. It was over 500%. It couldn't be used again, and just it would take weeks to rebuild, but they brought it down to, like, Five seconds. <laughs> Which, again, very good scene to see, you know, Jay being a, using his powers more than just fighting people. Just to see, also Bart and XS2, but mainly Jay, um, like, doing different things than we would normally see him. Um, Barry and Iris are going to give Godspeed organic speed after listening to Bart and XS saying, uh, mainly Bart saying that the city doesn't need someone to be their dad, and need someone to be a hero. And that was mainly the bear, because Barry and I just didn't want to do it, um, because they know what it would do. Um, and it's before he decided to help. So Barry gave Hart um, a speed boost to kickstart the speed for cells in Hart. Now, people were saying when Barry, and he had a tech end device on as well, got speed, or Hart had the tech end device on him, so when Barry charged tech end device, it would charge all the cells in his body. Now, some people were saying, okay, he was just faking it the whole time. No. What happened was exactly what I just said. When Barry charged a tech end device on Heart, and it, like, 
powered him up. This B4 cells in heart brought that inner Godspeed heart that he lost when he time traveled to 2021 and fractured himself throughout time. Like you saw, he lost his memory. That came back out when the B4 cells in him just electrified when Barry gave him organic speed. Um, so no, he wasn't tricking him. He legitimately thought he lost his mind. Um, and he did lose his memory. Um, and then he came back. Godspeed ended up siphoning all the Godspeed speeds. God damn it. <laughs> We've had this rant before. Godspeed speeds. I Just why? All the Godspeeds end up forming in the, the real Godspeed heart. Um, and Barry chased Godspeed throughout the city. Godspeed is way faster than Barry now. Because Barry gave him a part of his speed. Mixed with all the other Godspeeds velocities. I didn't use speed that time. Um, so Godspeed's way faster than Barry at this point. Um, Godspeed had Barry pinned down. He was uh, Godspeed was throwing multiple lightning bolts at Barry. He was literally about to die. Bart was about to go. Jay told Bart to stay because Barry knows what he's doing. He wouldn't have told him to stay if he didn't have a plan, which was good of him because something bad would have happened if Bart went. I'm not talking about anyone dying. Well, if. Yeah. Um, but Thawne showed up, which we were expecting for a couple months. Um, the scene. Not the way it went. It was way cooler than I think any of us thought. Um, Thawne showing up, saving Barry. And then Barry, Godspeed, and Thawne. Obviously, Barry and Thawne are working together, fighting Godspeed. Use, uh, like, lightsaber lightning swords. <laughs> it was the coolest thing ever on the show. And... They had a crazy fight. It was amazing. Um, Thawne stabbed Gospy. Now, at first, I thought he killed Gospy because why wouldn't he? But he didn't kill him. Um, and Thawne, after stopping Gospy, helping Barry stop him, he turned on Barry. And this is the moment I was like, are they really going to have Barry and Thawne go back to the night his mom died and do that scene now? Or are they going to just have an epic fight scene throughout the city? That didn't happen at all. <laughs> um, it was even cooler than that. Barry is finally, for the first time in like seven years, faster than Thawne. Barry was able to go into Flash time. So everything down around him, including Thawne, who was using his speed, by the way, and just kick Thawne's blank, you know what, and managed to put him down on the ground. Um, which was very cool to see, and it made a lot of sense, considering Barry had a massive speed boost. Um, and that was very well written. Um, Thawne was upset that Barry's faster than him, and he ran off. Um, the Speed Force sent him abuse, and the negative Speed Force to bring Thawne back, which made sense. Um, Speed Force Nora, it was mentioned that she removed Barry's identity, any, any memory that the Flash was Barry Allen, or is Barry Allen. Is a race from Godspeed's memory. Um, which again, smart idea to bring it up in the writing. Good job, Eric Wallace. Um, Barry and Iris renewed their vows, which you already knew. Um, Kramer is confirmed to be a meta. The meta test that she took turned out positive. However, she's not a speedster. Any meta that is around her, she can use the powers of that person around her. So the way she could use her speed to save Jill was because she was around Godspeed. Um, now, like, if she was around a meta who has super strength, she'd have super strength. That was what her powers are like. Now, how that explains how she survived the explosion, someone else must have been a meta there that was near her. She didn't know, and that's how she survived. I would assume that's talking about the one guy that Joel and Kramer went after in the forest. That's my assumption. I have no idea. I don't think they actually mentioned it. Um, but Kramer won Lisa CPD after realizing she is a meta, and all this time she's trying to stop metas. She was really trying to stop herself, I guess, in that way. So she wanted to leave and figure things out for herself. Um, to see and Joe talk about doing the wedding for themselves, which I would love to see, by the way. Um, Bart sings to Barry and Iris. Now, Jordan Fisher is an amazing singer. I've heard his music before. He's an amazing singer. Um, I'm really glad they used that skill of his in the show. I was kind of worrying, um, wondering if they would. Really glad they did. Um, another funny scene was that Barry said crash and Bart hated that he said it. 
um, which is, you know, <laughs> understandable. Um, <laughs> but yeah, overall, 10 out of 10 finale. Again, Eric Walsh wrote it. He did an amazing job with this finale. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, best finale the show's ever had. Next season two, season one. I mean, best episode the season's ever had. I would go as far as say best episode this show's ever had. It was so phenomenal. Amazingly well done. Deserves a freaking Oscar. I mean, I would give it an Oscar. I mean, God, like, you can't top this. Every year, when it's an actual good finale, we think they can't top this. And they do this. So, it was really, 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 really well done. Um, season 7 finale, that's it for Season 7. We're going to Season 8. Um, I have news regarding Season 8. I'll be releasing in a video later this week. Along with the Eric Walsh details, talking about the Mirror Monarch ending, what he wanted to change. That will all be in the video later this week. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.